Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how effective Smartsheet is for managing a change request process, either on a single project or across a portfolio of projects. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate on a portfolio as that's more complex than a single project, but you'll see how the same approach can be applied at a project level. So let's dive in. So if I start off with a portfolio dashboard, various information on the portfolio. If I go down past the risks and issues, and you can see I've got a section here for the change requests. And here you can see within the portfolio, there's an overall four change requests that are open currently, three which have been submitted and one which has been submitted for approval on that side. So how do they get here in the first place? Well, let's go to a project level, which is where the change requests come from. And so in this case, I'm at the all clear project level and I go scroll down through the various project information, risks and issues. And here you can see I've got the section on change requests. So you, we can see here the various ones which have been submitted. And here I've got a link to open a change request. So the best way and consistent way to get people to fill out the change requests is using a form. So let me just open up the form. So clicking on the link, you can see it's got the various headings and I've got one which I've pre-prepared. So as you can see, what does this change required? And then what is the reason for this change? So what's the impact of not making this change and their errors impacted? Again, typical headings that you'd have for a change request process to know and understand. And you can see the red stars here to indicate these are mandatory fields to make sure that people fill that out in order to submit the change request. Now, who's it been raised by? The date it's been raised. And you can see the errors impacted again. So you want to know and make sure these people are aware and so the for awareness on that side. So. Also, I've got links here. If you want to have another, again, one of the functions on the Smartsheet forms is you can have a logic that if it if that is selected, then it opens up and shows additional areas to be considered. So let's submit this change request. So this now is going in and thank you for submitting your change request. It will be reviewed and a decision made in the next change request review meeting or before. So if we close that down, that's gonna actually take me in and this sheet I've got already open within the project and I've got the change log here. So if I now refresh this, you'll see that the one which we have just submitted has been added in. So increased budget by 5K. So that's now immediately gone into the change log. So this is the sheet. And again, I've got notifications which happen as well in the background in terms of, so new change request raised, and that's, again, there's a notification that we'll get in terms of that coming up. And so here, this is where you can see the various changes. One, which has been approval requested, submitted, etc. So you can create a variety of workflows depending on how you want to make this work. So in this case, I've got, so when a new change request is raised, it then alerts someone, in this case, demo productive. And then when the status is changed to, approval requested, it then sends off a notification to the approver who is in that cell. And then when that person approves it, it's going to mark the date for when they actually approved it here as well. So again, you've got a full log going backwards on this piece. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is the item here, so increase budget by 5K. I'm just gonna give you as an example, and I'm going to submit that to Alejandro Rojas as well. And if I now go across and save this piece, I'm going to change it now to approval requested, and I'm gonna save this view here. Okay, so the approval's now being requested, and that's gonna send a notification across to Alejandra. So if we just go across to Alejandra's profile, here's one which I set up just earlier, so shortly before um, starting this demo, and you can see one of the early ones that a change request launch date launch date delay. So if I click on the link here, open request, then Alejandra has got the information, the change has been requested, please review and approve as needed. So what's the area, change description, impact, and therefore the opportunity to approve or decline accordingly. So if I select approve, that has now been completed and I can close out on here and then that's all marked as all clear. So what will be happening is you can see also the one which I just before starting on that demonstration uh, has just also come through. So the change request for the one which I submitted the form on moments ago, that's also come through now. So let's select, collect that one. This has been done. And in this case, again, I'm going to approve it because we know what the change is. So that's approved here. 
So let's now go back to the form and see what's happened here. And you can see as I'm doing that bit, it's now changing the status from approval requested to be approved. And so that will also happen briefly in terms of the approval requested for the lower one that will come through as well. And then in terms of the date raised, the date approved, you can see that has also automatically been updated through one of the workflows that I showed you earlier. So again, really powerful in terms of creating the automation so that the only thing I'm having to do here is actually update the sheet in terms of refreshing it. And you can see as I refreshed it, the other one, which we just approved moments ago, has also been approved. And the date you'll see has also been marked as today. So we've just got one which is still pending on that side. So that's the, the view at a, at a project level. Let's just go back to the dashboard here. So change requests, these are ones which have been submitted. And I'm just going to refresh the project dashboard and let's just see what happens at a project level. So if I go down now, so there's only one remaining because we've actually approved two of the ones which were previously submitted. So that's at a project level. And let's go back up now to a portfolio level. So the open change requests, you can see that two had been submitted and one had been for approval. So if I now just refresh the portfolio dashboard, what's gonna happen here is we'll see that the statuses will move forwards on those ones. So scroll down to the, it says the change requests. And this is now, there's only three remaining to be done. Now, in this case, another way of approving it is if you've got multiple approvers and you have a change board and a change requ um, request review meeting. So if I now just click onto that, that's gonna take me into the open change requests and I can see the various projects that there. It gives me the sheet name so I know exactly what the project is. So now I could be running a change control board and we know what are the items submitted, what's been submitted for approval. So in this case, actually I want to discuss this one for, with, with the whole group. So we can see the changes, we can get someone to present and, and give further rationale behind that bit. If the status has been approved, then in the meeting, what you can do rather than using the workflows is that then I can set this and go, right, this has now been approved by the change board within the meeting. I can set that now as approved. And this one, we're gonna say, extend the proof of concept testing, and I'm going to reject that one as well. So if I change this bit, this is the open change requests. So submitted and approval requested. I now refresh this big piece and you can see one's been rejected and it's been marked in amber and this one's got approval requested on that side. So if I just go back to the dashboard on this basis. So again, the change requests, you'll see now the changes and it says open change request one that's been rejected and two the approval requested. So again, that's a way of seeing and how you manage the change request process. This is fairly standard in many organizations in terms of the process. What is key and most powerful within Smartsheet is that you have a consistent way of managing it. One, by using the form, the change request form to get the information in in a consistent way and people know how and where to fill that out by going to the project dashboard. It comes in, you then receive a notification as a, as a project um, as a portfolio lead, etc., that you can see what items have been raised. And so you know whether to go and to take action as a result of the items having come in. I didn't mean to open that. So you know what items need to be taken action on, and then you reflect and take action accordingly going to the change log. You can see it's all been updated, and then we've got views here of when they were approved on that information. So you've got a historical log of the changes, both at a project and a portfolio level. So I trust that's been useful in terms of giving you a view of how you can do effective change request management, um, working with a change, um, change board, for example, when you do it as an actual meeting or when you do a workflow to an individual when it's requested of only one person. So thanks for watching and more videos to follow in due course. Bye for now.